Hey everyone, it's uh, Josh here, as I guess most of you probably know. Um, and right now I'm just standing near the front door of the house that I just bought. Um, this video is going to be, I guess, a bit of a house tour of what I just bought. So, uh, just before I do, as most of you probably know, again, I'm only 19, so uh, I have, I guess, bought this house fairly early on in my, I don't know, financial life. Your financial life probably only starts, what, when you're like 18, so uh, I do intend to use this as an investment property. I'm not going to live here. And I guess um, saving up for a down payment on a property is not really as difficult as, I guess, everyone makes it to be or it seems to be um i guess this really this video right now is really just a house tour but i do plan on potentially making a few more videos about i guess personal finance and how exactly i saved up for this property and my investing and saving routine kind of thing i guess or maybe um all right and i guess maybe even a video i plan how much i do plan or estimate to make from this property but um, look as long as you guess I guess you work hard while you can while you're younger um, while, while it doesn't affect you too much uh, and just save as much as you can you you would be fine don't worry um, look if if I feel like it I might do some more detailed videos on that but uh, for now I'll just uh, start the house tour here all right, so sorry for the echo, but it's because there's like not really any furniture in here and it's all wood floors is why uh, it's echoing so much. But just walked in the front door here. Um, we've got the lounge room uh, through here. Uh, quite spacious, I would say. Floorboards, I don't know, it doesn't really pick it up too well on the camera, but Really, the floor floorboards all through this property do need a bit of work, um, but probably something to do at a later date. Not too fussed about it right now. But yeah, pretty spacious lounge room. You only got the two small windows in the side there, but uh, yeah, does pretty much have this sliding door that leads straight out to the kitchen. Um, nice sliding door that you can just keep open or closed if you want to but then we've got this pretty nice uh, all fairly modern and new uh, kitchen here we've got uh, it's nice these nice black countertops um, so yeah all pretty nice and new I've just put well, we've just put these two uh, oh God it's probably not gonna show up too well on the camera it's probably gonna be a bit funny but put these two nice uh, black blinds in um, geez look at how many white shirts that person has over there anyway I've got them down now put these nice new black blinds in just to I guess kind of match the kitchen They were some old kind of tan colored ones uh, that didn't really work. So we had to replace those but uh, Got the nice little laundry room out here very small very compact behind this door you have just a storage cupboard uh, Leading out to the back door which we will go out last uh, back in the kitchen, if we walk out this way, we've got we we've got another door that leads back into the hallway. So this is the entrance door, my shoes, and the the door to go into the lounge. Uh, so then we've got the hallway down here to the main rooms. It's a three bedroom. Uh, we've got the first bedroom in here, which is. Again, uh, a reasonable size, I would say. You got the sh a little shelf over there. I uh, don't want to take it too far because if the window gets in the way, it's going to mess with the lighting a fair bit. So, just a, I guess, reasonably sized room here. Oh, don't want to spoil that for us yet. Uh, <laughs> we've got uh, the second room in here, which is probably the largest, definitely the largest, I'd say. It does have. Uh, these nice, um, I don't know what you would call it, wood panelled corrugated walls. Uh, one with a nice uh, feature wall, different colour here. 
Uh, again, probably the largest room, but then you've just got a normal drywall here. Um, yeah, probably the largest room out of the three. I don't know how many times I want to say that, but uh, back into the hallway, we just have the toilet room here, just, you know, standard size, really small standard toilet room. Uh, but next to it is the third and final bedroom uh, here. that does have another shelf uh, built on for storage space. Do you have these, a few of these weird little um, things on the wall here uh, in a few of the rooms, actually, I think two of them. But that's really just, I guess, uh, for uh, you to hang, so you can hang things on, so yeah. Alrighty, and going back into the hallway, uh, like I said, room that I didn't want to spoil before, uh, the bathroom. Very, uh, I guess it's a quite average size, maybe a bit smaller than your normal bathroom, but it is all pretty much nice and new in here. Got a nice new sink like this, as well as a nice uh, looking bath with tiles. Yeah, you got this little, I guess, uh, divider so nothing splashes out over near the sink. And a little mirror here as well, hey. So, yeah. Take you to the backyard now. Coming out of the laundry room into the backyard, we do have, I guess, it was a nice little pond here, but we did have to cover that up with rocks just because it is, a, I guess, technically a safety hazard if you're renting out the property, so it's not allowed, unfortunately, so we had to cover that up. Uh, but backyard is pretty sizable. You have, I guess, a nice little gate over there um, that will take you out to the bush. Um, again, the, the ladies, um, I guess, a million white shirts. Uh, but yeah, the backyard is quite sizable, as you guys can see. We have the clothesline, but if we go down here a bit further, we have quite sizable, I guess there is this paved portion of the backyard that I guess maybe probably wasn't finished by the owner or something like that, but it could be cool could be a cool, I guess, potential job to get all of this part paved, but I don't know how that would go exactly with that fence being diagonal. It might be a bit of a problem, but we've got uh, these two sheds here as well. This first shed, uh, just like this, is a little bit small. Uh, but then we've also got this one here, but I don't know how well the camera's going to look at this because it might be a bit dark. Oh, no, it's not too bad. Yeah, uh, pretty pretty large shed there with that one. Uh, yeah, but for going further down here in the backyard, we do have, I guess, these nice little, I don't know what you would call them, feature garden maybe, here. There's a few of these around the property, as you can see there as well. Not too sure how good that's looking on the camera, but yeah, pretty big backyard. So guys, uh, that is that. That's the house tour. Nice little house. Very happy with that and how much I paid for it. Um, I will probably make, like I said, if I feel up to it, a d video discussing that further as well as potentially some other personal finance videos. Um, yeah, I'm just back at uh, my parents' house here now because I forgot to actually film the last part when I was there. So. Uh, yeah, might make those videos, so watch out for those, and uh, that's all. You have a good one.